really excited you're here because we have some amazing information that we want to share with you. We actually went shopping the other day and filled our carts up and want, you know, we're just excited to share with you what we have to teach you about going granola. And you know, granola doesn't have to be this term that kind of freaks you out. Um, you know, for those of us that are busy moms, I mean, Stephanie and I are both entrepreneurs. I'm, I own multiple businesses and so does Stephanie. And you know, the challenge being a busy woman, a busy mom, a busy business owner is, is making good choices and knowing what choices to make. And that's what is so great about it is that people will ask, you know, and I think that they just don't know, they don't start because they don't know where to start. And it's just about making um, simple changes, little changes. Is it not hard? It's just learning how to do it. And it's something that we feel very passionate about. So it's instead of, you know, fresh juice, instead of canned, you know, juice or processed juice, um, Staying away from the inside aisles of the grocery store with all the things of boxes and all the preservatives that are in everything. It's just, you know, those things one at a time that you can do that will improve your health, your family's health, help your neighbors differently, mm -hmm. and your friends, and they'll start to ask you too. And it's just, it's just about having the knowledge to do it and know that it's not hard and it's not and it's not expensive. It's not. And I think we hear that a lot. People say, oh, well, it's too expensive. I can't go that route. And really, we'll prove to you in some of the uh, dishes that we're going to make over the course of Granola Mom's lifespan, which is going to be forever, um, you know, really that you can do it inexpensively. Yeah, Christy, what, you made an incredible stir fry last night for maybe it was $15, 15 20 dollars for a family of five yeah you can't beat that yeah it was 15 dollars yeah. it was amazing and they ate it all that's incredible it was really good and i think most importantly um it's important for all of you to know that we didn't start out like this right. I, I, I for was a junk food eater I, I mean when i met my husband he had a garden and I would never eat anything out of his garden. You know, I didn't like to cook actually before, before you know, the, what this last year. <laughs> and right. so my husband was the cook. So I know how to cook, and I, 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 you know, I've been a bad eater my whole life. And you can change. I've changed. I'm a perfect right. example of Flip that. The classic family who um, thought, due to lack of time, our our good choices were to grab, you know, fast food. We were in a hurry. We'd be running here, running there. We just hopped through the drive-through, and we thought that 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 was okay. That's that's the norm, you know. But we've learned that you can make better choices and not sacrifice time, you know. Put together healthy things that you can take out the door, or things that you can get while you're out. In this, um, a friend of mine who uh, I love dearly said to me once, "You know, you have nothing if you don't have your health." And so that's why Stephanie and I are here. We love our family more than anything in the world. And we've made it our passion um, to educate other families that you can have your life back. You can be healthy and have a great, wonderful life. So, yeah. And you don't have to be weird to be granola. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, I'm getting ready to head in. We have our reusable shopping bags. And the, the cooler bag that will keep your items cold as you take it home and uh, ready to fill our cart with some goodies. So excited to take you in here. So many of you have been sending in your emails and, and calling us and asking us what to buy, what to cook, how to cook it. You know, you've liked the apple crunch recipe that we gave you. We're so glad you liked it and your family, you know, your family members are enjoying that. But we want to take it to another level. Today, we're going to talk to you about grocery shopping, what foods, what produce to purchase. This is a fun experience for you, as much fun as it's going to be for us. Can't wait to get in there. Let's go, Stephanie. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about why it's important to um, shop local if you have the choice. A lot of times they'll actually pick the produce before it's ripened and let it actually ripe on um, the way on the trucks. And another reason is just reducing your carbon footprint a little bit. The um, all the shipping and the trucking that takes place while to get it there. Um, you know, adds a, adds a lot. So, um, places you'll see actually will say on the signs, oftentimes where it's grown. This was grown in Mexico. Um, you can see that. Um, and then, of course, you can see grown in Colorado. Of course, you want to stay as close to your own state as possible, but Colorado, being that we're in Kansas, is going to be the closer choice than picking something from Mexico or Argentina. It just, you really want to try to stay local. Another important thing is when you're thinking about 
buying organic when you're not used to it is if you have to start somewhere, you want to start with the fruits and vegetables that um, that you're eating the peeling of the skins of, apples, potatoes, uh, any kind of berry, carrots or spinach, you know, those are the things that you want to make sure you definitely buy organic with. Um, bananas, uh, pineapples, watermelons, anything that you're going to actually peel and not eat the outside to. If you can't, then those would be the ones that, you know, you, you could um, not buy, buy organic with. But that's a good place to start. two apples, a lot of times we'll add in pears and whatever else we decide we want to do. The kids drink it all and this is a great way to help initiate their palate to eating more whole food plant-based foods. All right, You can pick this up, again we're at the natural food store, so you can get a 25 pound bag for only $19. That's nothing, honestly, when you think about the nutrition that you're giving your family. You can also go to Costco and they have smaller bags um, that cost much less as well. So they have organic carrots there, so you might want to try that out. Um, but anyway, this is a great way to really start getting those fruits and vegetables in the kids. Even if they don't like to eat their peas and carrots, they'll like to eat this. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to pick some of this produce. Um, I don't know about you, but I tend to not buy cantaloupe or melon because I don't know if it's going to be very good. I'm very picky about my cantaloupe. But here's some things we just learned. Um, Rocky Ford cantaloupes, um, actually, if, um, you just can't go wrong with them. They always taste good. And these are actually grown in Colorado, so that's great. And then um, just the regular um, organic cantaloupe melon, uh, this is how you pick it. You want to get one that's um, golden in color and um, Actually, if you, if you press on where the stem used to be and you can smell it, it's probably fresh and this is a good one. It smells great. So, um, watermelon's kind of the same. As long as it's organic, you really can't go wrong. But a lot of times, they'll have like a yellow spot on the side and that's a good indicator that it's ready to go. Just kidding. We won't do this to you today. Okay. <laughs> okay, so basically, we're going to talk to you about how to pick a melon, another kind of melon. bumps on it or if there's like a little bit of a wax feel to it then that's when you know it's ready um, to eat and it's fresh and it's ripe so this one is going to in our we're going to buy this for my family tonight cut it up and have a great dessert this evening so i think i picked a winner okay so how do you pick a really good pineapple all right like stephanie shared with you earlier if uh you don't eat the out the outer core then you should be pretty good if it's conventional so we can find any organic pineapple, so we're going to go to the conventional wall. But here, this looks like a really good one, okay, because it has a gold tone to it. And if, if it looks dry, then you know that you probably have a good a good uh, pineapple. And then here's the real test. If you can pull out the center piece very gently, very easily, then you know this pineapple is going to rock. Alright, so that's how you pick your pineapple. A great staple that you always want to keep in your pantry are lentils and beans. Um, some people get frustrated with cooking them um, because they take too long, but really it's so simple. You can either throw them in the pot for a couple of hours and then put them in a crock pot and let them cook all day, or you can soak them overnight and then they're ready to cook that morning. It really is your preference, but it's so simple. Um, great source of protein. Fine. Um, but for us, as granola moms, uh, we stay completely away from dairy and milk. Um, I like to get some uh, uh, silk rice soy milk and almond milk. I get both. And um, if you really, really have to still get some milk, um, we encourage you to get um, hormone-free, get organic, because the, if you do not get organic, then the animals have been injected with estrogens and hormones to beat them up more quickly to get them to market faster. So if you're not drinking organic milk, you're putting in all those pesticides into your body, which is not healthy. Okay, so um, try to stay away from the dairy, try to stay away, but if you, if you can't, that's what we 